Hi little peoples, welcome to 5th standard science online class. All of you take your science book and page number 118. Let's fill the let's remember. First one, fill in the blanks with suitable words. When the fulcrum is in between the load and the effort, it is a class 1 lever. Number two, a pulley is a small wheel with a groove around its outer edge to move a rope on it. Third one, a pulley does not reduce the effort. It changes the direction of the applied force. Fourth one, our elbow is an example of a class first lever. The steering wheel of a car rotates against a stationary axle. Next, next page. Exercises. A. Objective type question. Roman letter 1. Fill in the blanks with the correct words. First one. A force that occurs between two surfaces is called friction. Number two. Gravity makes movement of heavy objects difficult. Third one. The fulcrum is in the middle in class 1 lever. Fourth one. Fulcrum is the fixed point around which a lever rotates. Number five. A ramp is a common example of an inclined plane. Roman letter 2. Write T for the true and F for the false statement. Number 1. A force applied on an object always causes it to move. False. Number 2. Friction always produces heat. True. Energy from fossil fuels is a renewable form of energy. False. Number 4. Fulcrum is a fixed point around which a rod moves. True. Number 5. The effort is located between the fulcrum and the load in second class levers. False. Roman letter 3. Choose the correct option. Number 1. Which of these forces makes an object come down on the surface of the earth? Answer A. Gravity. Number 2. Which of these is not always a disadvantage of friction? Answer Number C. It makes it hard to slide heavy objects. Number 3. Which of these refers to energy due to the position of an object? Answer A. Potential energy. Number 4. What is the mechanic energy? Sorry, what is the energy generated at power stations and supplied to our homes called? Answer D. Electrical energy. Next page. Number 5. Which of these is not an example of a renewable source of energy? Answer D. Energy of fossil fuels. Number 6. In which of these simple machines is a load in the middle? Answer B. Nutcracker. Number 7. A screwdriver is an example of which of the following? A. Wheel and axle. Number 8. Which of these is an inclined plane wrapped around a nail? Answer B. Screw. Roman letter 4. Match the columns. First one, scissors. Answer E. First class lever. Number 2, wheelbarrow. Answer A. Second class lever. Number 3, fishing rod. Answer B. Third class lever. Number 4, knife. C. Wedge. Number 5, ramp. Answer D. Inclined plane. So the number comes as 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. Next B. Very short answers. Roman letter 1. Give two examples of the following. Number 1. Types of forces. Electrostatic force. Mechanical force. Number 2. Sources of sound energy. Answer. Radio. Television. Number 3. Renewable sources of energy. Answer. Solar energy, wind energy. Number 4. First class lever. Answer. Scissors, seesaw. Number 5. Wheel and axle. Answer. Screwdriver, doorknob. 
Rome letter two. Give one for one word for the following. Number one, <coughs> a push or a pull acting on an object. Answer, force. Number two, force that tries to stop the movement of objects across a surface. Answer, friction. Number three, upward force acting on an object immersed in water. Answer, beyond C. Number four, the ability to do work. Answer, energy. Number five, the energy that we get from the heat of the earth. Answer, geothermal. Okay, so with this we have finished the book exercise in lesson number nine. Next, see answer the following. I'll give you a PDF, so all of you co copy that in your science note. So with this, we end this session. We'll see in the next class. Bye.